I see one pair of earrings that you for sure want to grab if you are out um, looking for jewelry for your own collection or for reselling. These are some H Carnegie right here, here, which is by Hat. Can we guess what these are? <laughs> this one is. So this is the mid-century modern, lovely copper looking clip-on. Also mm -hmm. use the dog has the and these different like mixed um, clusters. So you see how there's like a lot of things going on. So it has like this textured faux pearl and then the rhinestone flower and a rhinestone and then different tones of blue. So I have seen that. Oh, oh, and there's the crimped cupcake. Um, I don't know. What is this called? <laughs> crimped cupcake liner thing, price, but uh, open definitely tell that it's old. It has this brass nail. So I saw this and I'm like, I love that kind of stuff. And then I looked closer at the pictures and there was definitely um, some pieces right here that I saw that I'm like, I would definitely sell that for uh, the price of the whole lot that I'm buying. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks. And in this video, we are going to be talking about some vintage costume jewelry brands that you are not gonna wanna miss when you are at the antique store or flea market or even um, sorting through your jewelry jars. Be on the lookout for some of these brands. Um, I actually was at an antique store I would say a couple months ago and I've had this bag sitting in my bedroom for such a long time waiting to share it with you and I finally am getting to it I've been working hard on that district selling platform for you guys to also be sellers on the new uh, pla selling platform that is up and coming and right now it is doing really well so if you're not already a part of our district selling platform our shop name for us sellers is Lily Works Jewels and Lots. It is a jewelry selling platform um, and we've already had decent sales on there and that's just with me advertising. This is before the SEOs are coming out from District so I'm glad that we are in early. We're ahead of the game and we are getting our stuff out there so once the SEOs start coming in which is like um, the search engine optimi optimization. So when someone Googles uh, something, then our listings are going to start popping up. So yay, I'm excited about that. And I'm also going to share with you guys something that I purchased for um, purchased from another seller on Lily Works Jewels and Lots to share with you guys. So let's get into the haul. I like my little <laughs> art from Annalise. I keep having all their pictures all around me all the time so I'm just noticing that one right there <laughs> yeah let's get into some of these awesome incredible incredible jewelry pieces <laughs> Okay, so I'm wondering if I got it sometime around December because they put it in a little uh, Christmas bag. So let's see, my total was $123. Was this the same thing? We will see. <laughs> I don't know how much I paid, but I feel like I paid more than that just based off of some of the pieces that I remember here. And a lot of them I forgot. Um, and there's gonna be just Fun surprises all around. Yay. Okay. All right. Did I get them all? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Well, let's start with, I see one. Ooh, this one only has one. I see one pair of earrings that you for sure want to grab if you are out. Um looking for jewelry for your own collection or for reselling. These are some H Carnegie, which is by Hattie Carnegie. Very, very important designer in regards to costume jewelry and even more important was her clothing line. I think maybe 
really popular in the 40s and 50s. Um, she was a really petite, small, blonde woman, but she had a very huge presence in the fashion world. And um, there's not a lot of pictures of her, actually. There's a lot of models wearing Hattie Carnegie, but not a lot just of her. So these are some black faceted glass, and then these are some interesting textured glass in there. These are the clip-ons. And uh, yeah, so back here it says Carnegie right there. These are a definite be on the lookout for. It's kind of like a brass tone flower. So these I would consider, consider a left and right cluster clip on. Uh, sometimes people refer to black glass as French jet um, because jet is actually a different material that um, Victorians used in like mourning jewelry and things um, that's not glass. Jet is not glass. Just Jet is uh, more desirable than glass, but sometimes people will say French jet for the glass. Okay, what else did I get? So that was the, oh, oh, here's another one. This one is Robert. So wh where did those go? I remember these. So we have this one and this one. Okay. So this one is right there. These are definite Bolo Robert. Look at the back. This is why um, like originals by Robert and Hattie Carnegie are so similar is that this is double backed. So these are like wired on these little beads. They're like ruby red beads with this like chain detail running through and they double backed it to hide, hide all the wiring. I know that Miriam Haskell had um, the people who made the jewelry, they would take the kits home, take the design work home, sew it all up at home and then bring it back and then they would sell the pieces, which I thought is super charming. Love that idea. I would, I would be the one that would love that as a job. I love crafting. I love, I especially love crafting kits. So I like to think that I'm artistic, but I'm actually not. I'm more just crafty. Like give me directions on exactly how to do it and then I will do it. And I love the process. So that's why I love knitting a lot and crocheting. And I grew up doing um, cross stitch because everything has like a pattern. And when it comes to like free form art, I am just totally lost. So um, yeah, these are just gorgeous. Definitely a brand to look out for. Originals are Robert, original by Robert. I believe that nobody was actually called Robert um, who, who were the company founders. I think that they thought that um, the name Robert sounded more distinguished. So they stuck with that. So yeah, there are those. Okay, I see these right here. Can we guess what these are? <laughs> this one is. So this is the mid-century modern, lovely copper looking clip-on. <clears throat> and it has the shadowing going on right in these pockets. There's the back. And then these are Renoir. I believe that Matisse Renoir is the uh, copper and enamel jewelry, and then just the Renoir it is the just the copper. So these are both marked Renoir on the back. Yay. All right, what are these? These look like sterling silver. So I think I got a percentage off for, you know, a lot of these, but I'm not, I don't remember. So <laughs> I'm just going with the prices that are on the card. So what do these say? This might, I actually think that there was a couple booths that were half off. So this might've been a half off booth. Okay, it says 925 Italy, which is awesome. Yay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to look at the receipt for these. Is there a maker's mark on this? Hmm, I'm not seeing. So we have some sterling earrings here. Very classic, I would say. And what are your opinions? Some people polish the sterling and some do not. So if it was a Southwestern piece, more rustic, um, I'm actually wearing these earrings right now that are that would be a good example. 
So these right here have the sterling silver and I would not polish these at all because it gives it a, a more dimensional look and it keeps that rustic look and some people wait a long time to for their sterling silver to tarnish because it, it actually looks more like sterling silver when it's uh, like that. But what are your opinion about these? Because they they could actually look really nice polished up as well, very shiny. So, or I can just leave it up to the buyer and they can do it themselves. Okay, what is this? I see this brooch over here. <gasps> Ooh, this is very, um, I love these colors, very mogul style. And when Chanel did the Grapois, it was like the reds and the greens and the blues, the jewel, jewel tone color. So let's see if this is marked. So it is marked Sarah Coventry. I think the reason I got this, and, and now Sarah Coventry is, is a bread and butter brand, but there are some pieces that are out there that are more collectible, especially when um, Sarah Coventry partnered up with other brands like Juliana Jewelry Company. Um, so this was $5 probably with a percentage off and this is just a statement wow piece mogul style. There's a lot of keywords that can go with this. So that is why I got that one. Wow, <laughs> someone's going to love these. I don't know if there's even a maker, but I don't care. So these were five with, I don't know the percentage off, but I actually just uh, staked out my booth today at the antique store and it is a brand new antique store that is opening. It's really exciting to see the beginning stages um, and the process. So um, I kind of hope that our antique store does the percentage off booths because I know that I like shopping in them. <laughs> And then I tend to buy a lot of things. So yeah, I don't see a maker, but again, it's the riveted back. So maybe like more like 1950s ish, but then they have these long baguette stones coming down out of this like swirl shell faux pearl. Ha ha ha. These are so neat. These are screw backs. <gasps> Wait a second. They actually go up like this. <laughs> That's even more, wow, these are even more interesting. Look at that. Can you imagine? Like, you probably, these would probably go all the way up your ear. That is so fun. Oh, I love those. Okay. What was this one? Um, I see these probably, right? Blue. So. Oh, I know why I got these. These, okay, do we see the dog tooth? Okay, this might potentially be another brand that you're going to want to look out for. So these are called dog tooth prong setting, which could be Scaparelli. So Scaparelli is a brand you want to look out for, and Scaparelli also used the dog tooth and these different, like, mixed um, clusters. So you see how there's like a lot of things going on. So it has like this textured faux pearl and then the rhinestone flower and a rhinestone and then different tones of blue. So I have seen that. Oh, oh, and there's the crimped cupcake. Um, I don't know. What is this called? <laughs> crimped cupcake liner thing. Uh, open back. There's just a lot of really good things. So if it's not uh, very, very gorgeous, and this this is when it pays to know what you're looking for. So if you're a beginner, uh, you know, to jewelry, or you're you're just not really familiar with higher end jewelry, you might not know that these are potentially something really good. But because I know like the different things to look out for, that's why I can pay twelve dollars or something like that and take a chance because I already know, even if it's not something like Scaparelli, it is something uh, along those lines and these are definitely worth it to pick up. Okay. Oh, 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 look at, we have matching earrings. These are also five, maybe half off, I don't know. But now we have a Demi Perreur. 
That's another thing that sells really well online is when you have sets of things. And so I just had that Sarah Coventry, um, do you remember the, it was like, they kind of look like marijuana leaves to be honest, but I forgot what it was called, but it was like that amber toned pineapple and then these clip on earrings that went together. And I didn't realize that when I was listing with, or I was researching the brooch with you and I was researching on eBay, all of a sudden my own clip on earrings popped up and I was like, oh, I must have those in my inventory. So what I did is I ended up listing it all as a set and it actually sold uh, full price. I think it was either $29.99 or $39.99 for the set. So that's something I'm going to be doing with this one as well and calling it a dummy purer because there's only two in the set. Um, a full purer or just, you know, use the word purer if it's three in a set. Okay. Oh, ho, ho. these ones I was like, I was like on the fence about, but then I was like, you know what? These are, these are not priced badly. Like, and you do not come across things like this very often. So let's just look at these. I kind of just want to put them on. They're so fantastic. Okay. So how would you wear these? Okay. We have a clip on. Let's see. Are you marked at all? Oh, oh, I see something. I, oh, is it a patent number? Does it say patent pending? Sometimes you can look up patent numbers and it can give you more clues. Um, patent pending. I think that's what that says. Um, and it might just be for the back, this clip on thing, but it can give you clues as far as dates go. And uh, how interesting is this? So, it, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm dying. Like, look, okay. So not only is it like ruby red teardrop and like pink prong set sparkles, but this ho hoops up and then another one dangles down. So this one clips onto your ear and then another one dangles. <gasps> oh my gosh. And this is what I'm talking about when, you know, do what makes you happy and brings you joy. Does this not bring us so much joy? Oh my word. This is so gorgeous. Someone really designed these so well. And this one has movement. The end have movement. Can you imagine? I kind of want to put these in my collection. You guys know me. I'm putting these in my collection, pricing up. If it sells for a collector price, then it sells for a collector price. And then I'm, I'm sad for a little bit, but <laughs> uh, does this one say anything? see another patent pending I think but okay so this one goes into like more research if you guys have seen anything like this let me know but that is awesome <laughs> that was so fun okay oh -hoo -hoo. these are so pretty six dollars so all of these with these like black backs the ones like the Robert and the Hattie Carnegie and those ones I just showed you that was all when you walked in walked right into the mall and I mean it was like gems and bling and gorgeous things everywhere everywhere you looked um and all of it was priced a little bit higher than what I would have liked but I mean you can see why these are all gorgeous so this is an intaglio glass clip-on earring six dollars this means reversed carved cameo Cameo is definitely a keyword to use. Um, I know Juliana Jewelry used cameos a lot, but I think that theirs were acrylic cameos and these are actually carved glass. You can even see, oh, sorry, you guys can't see. You can even see the faceting happening on the side right there. These are high quality, lovely, maybe gold filled. It has that like color to it. Let's see. I don't think any markings. I think these are just stunning. I'm excited to research these more. Really good things going for those. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we have some things going on here. Um, okay. What is this fun bag? $3. Oh, these are porcelain. Oh, 
Look at these porcelain bead dangle. Are they Avon? Are they? They're Avon? What? These are so adorable. So if you guys know anything about Avon jewelry, a lot of times you can Google Lens them and it will come up with the uh, the name of the the piece itself. So it might say like 1987 feminine um, flower earrings or something like that. I don't know. I'm making something up. But they have certain names to them. And then it will give you a, like a date. I wouldn't be surprised if these were 1990s. Uh, very feminine looking. Okay. Ooh, do we not see the moon glow thermoset happening here? And yeah, love these. I love, 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 love moon glow thermoset. These are like a cranberry red. And that looks so nice. I think that this is like one of my mom's favorite colors. Whenever we pass a cranberry red car that has the same shine, she always needs to point it out to me. <laughs> What do you say? Just Japan. But yeah, these are all wired on beads. I think glass mixed with acrylic. So yeah, we see the moon glow happening here. Love those. Okay. And again, <clears throat> these I like selling. Like you might not like selling these and you'll see more of what I have later on. But because this is my style and my buyers know like I like putting things like this in my shop. I do like picking it up. Whereas you might be like, Rachel, I don't like that at all. It doesn't sell well for me. I don't like putting it in my shop. I do. <laughs> and something you're going to find the more inventory you put in your online stores, um, the more like even though jewelry in itself is like niche, right? You're, you're only selling jewelry or mostly selling jewelry. You tend to find like and gravitate to what you like and what your buyers are looking for. And so this is something I really like and I know how to describe them really well. Got those. Ooh, oh, I am such a sucker for ceramic jewelry, ceramic pottery jewelry. Okay. <gasps> this was only $2. I, I bet I, I feel like this was only $1. I think this was in the half off. I think that all these were in the half off booth. Um, and it's like a Robin's egg blue color. Totally looks like the eighties, like color, um, little artisan. Oh no, no, no. It's glass. Pretty sure it's glass little artisan set here. <gasps> and you guys, I think I got this for a dollar. I mean, who could resist? Who could resist this artisan little set for a dollar? Oh my word. Is it ceramic or glass? It has the sound of ceramic, but when I look on the back, it looks like glass. Hmm. I don't know, <laughs> but these are so sweet. Love that. Okay. What else did I buy? I see a single earring. Oh, oh, shoot. We have the other one. Okay. This one says two, but I see something on the back. Okay. What does it say? It says Soprento 1 20th 12 karat gold filled. I have sold that brand, I would say a good handful of times and I've I think almost all, every single one have sold. I don't think I have any more in my store. Um and then that leads me to believe that this might be Kelsedney because this is gold filled which is, you know, nicer than just your typical costume jewelry. So I believe that this is probably a uh, semi precious gemstone. I don't think it's turquoise. I can see like it, it's a little bit see-through. And it has the color of Kel Chalcedony. So I might just take my Presidium, test these. But uh, for $2 or less, that was, this is good. Yay. <laughs> Lovely. And yeah, screw back, vintage. Okay, what else? Oh, ta -ta -ta. Okay, these are owls for $2. Can you guess why I got these? Let me show you. Is this a sterling hook? I'm running my um, fingernail along 
uh, the hook just to see. Sometimes there would be uh, letters or numbers like 925 for sterling silver. Um, but it doesn't. So it actually does look like sterling silver. I'll probably just test the hook. Some people are sensitive. So um, they only can wear sterling silver or gold. So it's nice to know if you have a sterling silver hook. But the reason I got this is because this is the plique azure technique. See that? And when you hold it up, it looks really pretty in the light. I actually... Uh, collect some plique azure myself, but I collect the more like romantic, floral, like stained glass looking plique azure. But plique azure jewelry in itself is very, very, very collectible. So if you guys find brooches or big earrings that are plique azure, grab it. <laughs> These um, might not go for as much. They're a little bit more like kitsch, but they're really cute. They still are plique azure. That's something to be on the lookout for. This looks like sterling silver, $5. Oh, what are you? Yes, sterling. This is a sterling um, plain charm. Uh, $3. I really, I think these were also all half off. I'm remembering there was a basket of half off stuff. And this looks like a sterling pig charm. I could even like... What I can do is on district is I can just lot up a bunch of sterling silver stuff um, because these are just way too good of prices and people can buy it that way. What is this? Victorian era? <gasps> Ooh. So I did get this one for, I, I, I remember asking because one side said nine, one side said five and yeah, they gave it to me for the lower price, but you can definitely tell that it's old it has this brass bail, and then I feel like this could potentially be jet. It has a different feel than most things that I felt. Uh, it, there's probably a smell test, but I don't really know it, and I don't come across like morning jewelry or or black material Victorian jewelry that often um but you can definitely tell and this is something so it looks like someone had a price sticker back here at one point if I have time to test this and, and look further into this I will try to pop it on the screen if I figure out what it is but if you guys know let me know it's hand painted I don't think it's celluloid. Celluloid is usually, it feels lighter weight than what it looks. And I don't think that this does. I don't know. We will see. Okay. What are, what is this? It says $5. This looks like a sterling art deco clasp. Multi-strand. So one thing you guys want to look out for, not only do you guys want to look for maker's marks and like hang tags so that you can easily look up and research jewelry, but on these clasps, make sure you're looking. This one says sterling right there. It says sterling B. And then oftentimes you want to look on the sides right there <clears throat> and right there because on fish hook clasps, they're, they might say gold or sterling on the sides there. So this is a sterling Art Deco box clasp right there. And graduating, uh, pearl, graduated, hand knotted, faux pearl. These are glass faux pearls. They're heavier. Um, and I will put it on my bus so you guys will be able to see it let's see let me try to fix it there's one side and so you can see that the bigger ones are hanging down right here in the middle so that is so lovely okay there's that one and then this one Oh, I remember looking in the car. 
this one oh, I'm sad about. Okay, so I grabbed it. It said $4. I'm not sure if there was a percentage off for this one. Um, but this one is a, let's see, a Kramer. So Kramer is also a good brand. I usually find Kramer brooches, but this one is a Lucite, I believe. Yeah, I think this is Lucite and Rhinestone panel bracelet. Ooh, look at that. It's really pretty. The one that's missing is this one right here. Boo. Uh, I'm still going to sell it though because you, it's very, very lovely and wearable and it has the name to back it up. Um, so yeah, a little sad about that one. And then this one, I think I got for myself because it also, it, this one reminded me of that one brooch that I had, um, that I got from another antique store with the abalone shell, but look at these little cha-cha things. So this is a handmade, um, little cuff and it just is so nice. Like, look, okay, let's, let's just look. I am like obsessed with seed bead jewelry. You guys already know <laughs> because I used to make seed bead jewelry. I'm like, I like love it. Okay. So look at the little details that they put on here. So they covered the whole end and made like a little ruffle bottom. And then this little like loop that they can put it through. And then this little snap piece is sewn on. Oh, it just feels so nice. I don't know. Seed bead jewelry just always feels really nice on. Really comfortable. So I got that one. And obviously this is probably the most unexciting piece of the lot. But I thought that was interesting. All right, let's talk about the pieces that I got from one of our sellers on District. So I am encouraging you guys to start listing your pieces on our Lily Works Jewels and Lots page that you are like like that are sellable, you know, to somebody else. But you're kind of like, this has been sitting. This is not my jam. I don't want to do anything with it. And honestly, I've been doing that too. Like I have like a few different sellable lots up. Um, that's, I'm just like, okay, it's not my jam. Somebody else's, uh, would love to sell this. I'm just going to sell it at a really good price and move it along. I feel like this is what, um, they did for me. I think I got this $20 free shipping. Let me just take a drink of water. I'm getting over the flu. And, um, once you start feeling better, like, and you start getting your appetite back. Uh, like I'm so thirsty all the time. So I've been drinking so much all day, uh, electrolytes and water and everything. So, uh, soup and anyways, so I saw this and I'm like, I love that kind of stuff. And then I looked closer at the pictures and there was definitely, um, some pieces right there that I saw that I'm like, I would definitely sell that for, um, the price of the whole lot that I'm buying. But then I also saw that there's like glass in there as well. So yay. And then some pieces I might not sell. Like I might put like in my antique booth for like a dollar or whatever, but let's just go in to what I found. Okay. So we have <clears throat> these. <laughs> okay. They're so, so cute. Okay. So <laughs> They're so cute because these are glass. My favorite color combination is the pink, purple, and blue. The pastels, love it. I have since I was a kid. And these are glass here. You can see the little art glass um, cluster clip-on. I don't think that these are by any particular maker, but they are wired on. It just says Japan, but I just loved the glass. And a lot of times you come across cluster clip-ons from like what the forties and fifties and sixties and they are mostly acrylic, but a lot of these in here were glass. So I liked these. Then we have, let me show you. These are like probably my second favorite. We have these uh, cha-cha cluster clip-ons. Okay. Okay. Watch. Let me show you. So it has the movement, the cha-cha and there's glass and faux pearls in there and AB coated crystals. But these are also the comma or the paisley shape. So you can say comma clip-on earrings. That is a searchable term. 
and it's the shape. It's the left and right comma shape. Uh, these could be very bridal as well, like very vintage bridal. Um, and then we can see by the texturing going on in the back, these I think are more like 1950s. Um, it says Japan on the back of those. So let me, let me see. So we have some milk glass, see the milk glass right there. Ooh, these are pretty. Let me show you this one real quick. Um, these are so pretty. These like very lustrous faux pearl. I don't think these are marked either. Lovely though. Okay. These are what made me buy it. So not only is it a cameo, right, but they are West Germany. And for some reason, West Germany has been pretty popular lately. So I'm pretty sure I can get my money back just by having these here, the West Germany cameo clip on earrings surrounded by an amber toned lucite or acrylic bead. Um, and if you find like the filigree West Germany jewelry, you can get a lot more money, but like cameo also does really well. So I really was interested mostly in these, but we see other like glass and AB coated and things like that. So yeah, so super fun. Actually, this one totally looks like, where's the Hattie? Where's the Hattie Carnegie? Wouldn't it be funny if these were Hattie Carnegie? <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Uh, it looks like the same bead, doesn't it? I'm wondering. Um, and then this back actually looks more like 1960s, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Huh, that is interesting. Isn't that a coincidence? All right, so that is my haul. Let me know if you guys learned anything. Okay, you guys, uh, if you haven't been convinced to join us over on the Lily Works Tools and Lots, I hope that this video has convinced you by now <laughs> uh, because we are having fun over there. Make sure to join our sister Facebook page that you are you might not already be a part of. It is the buy and sell group. And that's where what we have listed on district, you are able to share and market yourself on that page so that other people can see it. And we've been making sales that way. I also have been promoting sales and paying for advertising in different ways. Um, and yeah, so join our Facebook page, join district um, under Lily Works Jewels and Lots. Yay. So, um, tell me what your favorite piece was down below. Let me know. Um, right now, type it <laughs> before you forget. And yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting so you guys can live generously and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. I want to take a moment to give a huge thank you to all the Patreon members. Thank you so much. It really means a lot to me that you guys want to support this channel. And if you guys saw anything from the video that you want to buy, you can go to lilyworksreseller.com, click on the jewelry collection on the website, and you can purchase things that you had seen right from the video. Also, if you want to see what I use for my business, you can click on the description below my YouTube videos. And as always, you can click on this link to check out more videos from the channel. And also be sure to subscribe. Bye guys.